Well, the, the painting, uh, Grandfather Praised the Sun, was one that demanded, uh, I think, a large format. First of all, the, the faces of the people were very important to me. I wanted, I wanted to get a certain look to these people, a reverence that these young men had for their grandfather, and a certain feeling about their grandfather himself, who was doing the praying. And the only way to do that is to make a large enough canvas produce a large enough canvas so that these images, these figures are large enough that you can tell that story because really the story is in the faces. When you talk about sun to the Indian, sun represented life and, and, and their, the being that gave them everything. And it wasn't the sun, it was sun. He could be praying about anything, perhaps the health of his family or or they can't find the buffalo, or they've had trouble with a warring tribe and they need help. For some reason, they, they could look at the sun and stare at the sun and they wouldn't go blind, perhaps because they had that dark pigment in their eyes. Well, it's a Northern Plains scene. I don't recall specifically where it was, I, I gather reference material over, you know, 30 some years and, and often today I'll find reference that I took 30 years ago and, and incorporate it into a painting. And sometimes, although I may, I, I'll know it's in Montana or it's in Wyoming, sometimes it's impossible to pinpoint where that specific scene was because I, I used to travel with a historian up there who was a a hunting guide uh, part-time and we became good friends and and he knows the country like the back of his hand and so we did a lot of exploring a lot of roaming around up there by vehicle and on horseback go through different mountain ranges and then when I look at some of this reference material today it's impossible for me to recollect where one specific spot was or another now, if, it's a, if I'm going to paint a specific historic event, then I will, I will go to that spot and research it thoroughly.